Every living organism creates directly or indirectly waste substances, which have to be treated or converted back into useful resources. To transport waste substances to treatment facilities, there is no other liquid that can transport wastes better than water. Water is dense and provides enough buoyancy as well as viscose to transport items and erode surfaces. Therefore, wastewater treatment deals with the removal of waste substances from water. Domestic use produces sewage from showers, sinks, cleaning appliances and flushing toilets. Industrial and agriculture wastewater comes from water usage for various processes and washing and cleaning of products. Wastewater needs to be treated so that any harmful physical, biological and chemical substances can be removed to protect public health. Sewage treatment eliminates waterborne diseases, protects fish and water plants prevents noxious odors and maintains a healthy oxygen balance in water bodies. To collect waste water and to transport it to sewage plants, small sewer pipes of a 4-inch diameter carry waste water to larger pipes that form a collection system in a community. From the collection system, waste water is directed through pipelines to the closest wastewater treatment plant. If waste water must flow uphill, pumping stations are used to overcome gravity forces. Arrived at the wastewater treatment plant, sewage water undergoes preliminary, primary and secondary treatment steps for purification. In some cases, an advanced or tertiary treatment is also required. Preliminary treatment The preliminary treatment removes bigger solids and debris to make sure that the flowing process equipment and piping is neither damaged nor clogged. Good examples are driftwood, fabrics or anything else that is bigger than the screening openings of usually half inch. Screenings are made up of foreign materials like a ball, bat or thread-like items. Afterwards, grit chambers comprise any inorganic material like sand or eggshells. Primary treatment. This step slows down the wastewater in a clarifier settling tank to isolate solids that sink or float due to buoyancy. Clarifiers are huge tanks which provide enough retention time for separation of bigger particles in wastewater. The scum and settled sludge are removed by scraper mechanisms. Secondary treatment Non-settlable solids such as dissolved sugars are still left in the wastewater after primary treatment. Secondary treatment uses microorganisms and oxygen to convert dissolved solids into biological masses which can be removed later. Depending on the local permits, the nutrients after this stage might not be a concern for release into natural waterways or groundwater. Then, in a final step, the wastewater undergoes disinfection through chlorine or UV radiation. If stricter permits are present, the wastewater will undergo one more step for the conversion of nutrients into nitrogen gas facilitated by anaerobic bacteria. Thanks for watching. And if you like our 3-minute tutorials, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up.